bootlegs come from all over the world, and as big a shock as we had last time finding out that apparently a lot of bootlegs come from China, well apparently a lot of bootlegs also come from Mexico. <laughs> Behold the, uh, I don't know the actual name of these guys besides Mexican bootleg turtles. Now how is this for an actual, you know, genuine shock? These guys look, well, pretty damn good. And after turtles fighters, you really begin to appreciate the little things, like them having the correct letter on their belt buckles. Also, you can notice right away that these guys are made from a much more quality plastic and feel a lot more solid, you know, unlike the fucking monstrosity that was Turtles Fighters. And yes, I did have to glue this arm back on. Another nifty feature with these guys compared to Turtles Fighters is they can actually manage to stand on their own. Now, one of the minor complaints I do have with these guys is the plastic on their weapons tends to get bent into the wrong shape, it seems. But, I mean, they're flexible, so you could probably just flatten them with something and get them into the right shape eventually. That's gonna lead to one of my major complaints with these guys. What's with them coming with all the correct weapons? Why can't they come with, like, pitchforks and stuff that I'm used to bootleg turtles coming with? Which, by the way, I have been informed of the origin of. This is from the Chuck Norris Karate Commandos figures. Why would they have weapons from that? I don't know, I guess those were laying around the bootlegger's warehouse. But thank fuck they cut the bottom off it or else you'd be immediately tipped off that this wasn't a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle weapon. I also feel very sad now that this is a thing I'm probably always going to have to mention. Thank you very much, Turtles Fighters. But no, the Mexican bootleggers did not feel that the Turtles' inclusion into a Satanist cult was a necessary addition. The four turtles from this line are all painted very vibrantly. I'd actually say the color scheme on these guys reminds me a lot of the cartoon. And of course, the four turtles all share the same shade of green, which again is more like the cartoon. And the four turtles all sport pupils, not the blank white eyes like the original toys. And some figures in the Playmates line did have pupils like this, including some of the absolute coolest ones. But some of the major things to note with these guys are going to come from the comparison to the original, so let's get to it. Well, there's absolutely nothing to talk about here because these are the exact same figures. Review over. Ha ha ha. Not funny. Now, one of the things you'll notice pretty quickly, especially with some of the figures, is their weapons are all quite a bit larger than the original guys. But these guys at least all still hold onto their weapons nice and tight, which is a plus. You'll also notice that the belt insignias on these guys are just left unpainted, but you know, when this is the alternative, yeah, I think that looks a lot better. The weapons are all cast in black as opposed to the original brown, and they all look a lot like the weapons from the TMNT CGI movie figures. So if that's the case, these guys are pretty damn new for a bootleg of the original Turtles line. Now the four bootlegs in this line sport the exact same body mold from the head down. And again, their legs are based on the Raphael mold with the two flat feet. But despite the weapons being larger for these four guys, their belts all still hold the weapons perfectly. Isn't it great when the simple things you would expect from a figure seem like a bonus? Thank you, bootlegs! Now, for the shocking articulation differences! Ah, oh! Whatever. These guys have, uh, you know, kind of wrist movement on one arm, but not the other. And guess what? The Playmates guys had no wrist articulation. Whatever. But this leads me to the most disappointing part of these figures, which is... Of course, the original guys now had lag articulation, and the lag is a completely solid piece on their body, so no, their legs can't move at all. Turtles fight with no leg movement! What? Ugh. Settle down. Sorry. So kind of strangely, while these guys feature no lag articulation, they do have waist articulation. Which means you can finally pose your turtles like that. 
Actually, even doing that extreme pose like that doesn't look too bad, except, you know, right at the edge. But this would be a decent pose for, like, on the cheap skate or something. Also, as you can see with the Leo and Don here, despite having the exact same molds for their belts, neither the Leo or Don feature the shoulder straps. And again, I think this was a choice to look a bit more like the cartoon, where they didn't go for such nonsense as shoulder straps. And guess what? I'd even say these bootleggers succeed at the cartoon look better than the official Playmates tune line. What? Come on, give me some backup, official Leo. Uh... No, the bootleg's better. But of course, the new classic Leo beats him, which is great, because, you know, he beat a bootleg. You should feel real proud of yourself, Leo. Ooh. Get out of my way. But again, much like the classics Leo, this bootleg is a nice fusion of the original figure and the cartoon. But what about me? You're overly shiny and you look stupid. What? Now let's talk head sculpts. Again, Leo's is the only one actually based on the Leo figure. Don's head sculpt is clearly based on the Michelangelo figure. Raphael's is based on Donatello's. And no one's is based on Raphael's. Damn! Well, not his regular figure anyway, because actually the Michelangelo is the wacky action Raphael head mold. Which I actually think was a pretty good choice by the bootleggers for Mikey. In fact, I'd say the face fits Michelangelo a lot more than Raphael. Damn! You know, I really do like the pupils on these guys. Maybe if turtle spiders had had pupils, they would have been better. <laughs> ah! I was wrong! I was wrong! Unfortunately, one of the couple quality issues on these guys is there's some noticeable gaps in some of the joints on them. But in the case of the waist one, you can just, you now move the belt down. Oh yeah, I'm Donatello. I like wearing my belt down. What? These guys have got to be near the top overall for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle bootleg figures. They are made from that slightly rubbery feeling plastic, but don't feel cheap at all. In fact, they feel pretty solid. The overall paint job is excellent, though maybe a little more detail could have been put into where they painted the teeth. But then again, they could have also looked like that. So really, just the flat white painting of the mouths isn't too off-putting, and if these guys' legs and the other wrist had been articulated, I probably would have given them a perfect score, but even then, I'm giving them a 9. While again taking the Playmates molds, there was at least a little bit of creativity here. Again, I liked the more cartoon color style choice for them along with giving them pupils. It also surprises me that they went to the effort to remove the straps on the belts of both Leo and Don, though strangely there is a single peg left for them on both figures. Also, the choice of wacky action Raph's head for Mike showed a bit of thought, so I'm giving them a 7. Sorry guys, but you're not weird! Your quality has failed you this time, so zero. These guys came to me in clear plastic bags, which I don't believe were the original packaging, but I can't find a picture of what these particular bootlegs normally come in. So that could have been all it was, but again, it's zip for this category until I see something else. Could these guys work as a replacement set of the turtles? You bet! If you didn't tell me these were bootlegs, I could believe they're from the actual Playmates line. So while I'm sure Turtles fighters brought many a tear to children's faces, these guys should be able to do the opposite, so full marks here. And the bootleg zones overall is 8. These are some really quality toys and actually do their bootleg job. They don't get perfect marks here only because I'm usually looking for bizarre stuff on this show, but I gotta give them a high rank for being such nice Ninja Turtles figures. <laughs> So while these Mexican bootleg turtles were actually pretty good and not all that strange, don't worry, next time on the Bootleg Zones, a new style. <laughs>
Jealous? No, 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 no! Don't, don't, don't! I will snap into pieces. Oh, some guys just are. Slow your soul! Slow your soul! Slow your soul!